Westies are a beautiful breed. But like any dog, they need maintenance. Come and check out this short tutorial on how to maintain your Westie puppy. On my Westies TV. Oh, it's Mike again, and welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about grooming your pet. Not a full groom job, but a regular maintenance on your puppy. As they grow, they'll continually need their nails clipped, they need to have their, their eyes clean, they need to have their butt shaved. And these are just maintenance things that you can do at home on your own with a little confidence. So here we're gonna help you do these small maintenance groomings for your puppy. The first thing you wanna do is, is give them a light brushing. Just brush their hair, just to get them used to having it done as you give them, as you pet them, as you play with them. Just give them a light, this is called a rake. It isn't actually a brush. And they get used to being brushed. You can do this constantly. Whenever you're taking the time, or they're sitting on your lap, or you're watching TV, get out the rake and just give your puppy a good brushing. Yeah, you like that, huh? You don't mind it at all at this age and if you do it all the time they'll get used to it and they'll never have an issue with being groomed uh, by anyone especially you so that's how I like to have my hair brushed right say hi they don't mind it at all You want to do their bellies, do their feet. The next issue we have with the Wessies, if you notice the eyes, they have a tearing. Notice the color? That could come from their diet, it could come from an eye infection, it could come from their water. Whatever the case may be, they get a tearing in their eyes. Now, you can go to the local pet supplies and they have a, a tear stain remover. But it's careful to to just get it on the stain. You don't want to get it into the puppy's eyes because it, it'll irritate, but, and it goes away rather quickly. So just take the time to, to wash away that and it'll have that intelligent Westy look like they're supposed to have. And that's how you clean their eyes. It's very simple. Just don't get it in the eye. And it's common. That tear staining is common. You'll see it on a lot of Westies, a lot of light colored dogs. So another maintenance that can be done with your puppy. Another maintenance item that gives a lot of people anxiety is trimming their nails. If you play with their nails as you hold your puppy while you're watching TV or whatever you're doing, whenever you spend time with your Westie, play with their toes. Have, them, have that used to being done. These guys have never had their tr toes trimmed, so they are very sharp. Their nails are very sharp. And they're very easy to trim. You don't have to be intimidated. You're not gonna hurt them by trimming their toes. There's two different types of trimming tools you can use. We have the ones here that are like a scissor. I like to use these on the older dogs. And then we have this type. And I particularly enjoy using these on the puppies. They're easy to maneuver. You can see how far you've got the, the, the nail into the, the cutter. So let's see if I can get this on camera. In order to trim the paw, you wanna peel, take your thumb and peel the hair back. Now you can see how it's exposed the claw. It's exposed as the claw. You just take the cutter and just through the tip, nip it right off. You don't have to take a lot off. You just wanna make it dull so they're not snagging your clothes it's not getting caught in their toys or in the carpet whatever the case may be so you just take the paw in your hand and they don't mind this at all you can make a game of it you can pretend you're you're being affectionate get the tip of the claw through the the end you can see it coming up just about maybe not even an eighth of an inch and doop, off it goes they don't mind 
So it's very easy to do. A very a maintenance item that, and every two or three weeks, just doop, comes right off. You want to be careful not to take too much because um, there's a hollow point in the nail. The blood comes right up uh, to the tip. If you do manage to get into what's called the quick, it will bleed, but they have an, a, a calcium product. You can buy it at your local pet store. You put on there uh, to stop the bleeding. If you would happen to be trimming the nails and you cut it to the quick and it starts to bleed, if you follow the directions on this product here and apply it, it will stop the bleeding. There's really nothing to worry about. So just have this on hand uh, before you trim your puppy's nails and you'll be all set. But if you're careful, take your time. Just put it just slightly, just barely through there. Just barely through and nip it off. They're white. Uh, sometimes when it's all black, sometimes when it's all black, it's harder to see the quick. Sometimes they have an all black nail. Westies usually have a white tip on there. You just nip the white tip off. And there's also what's known as a dew claw. And that's on the side right here. And it's the same process. You want to peel the hair back and just, and you can feel once you've got the sharp part through here, because it kind of curls a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get their head in the way. Just hold their head out of the way. And, Nip that glue claw right off. And that's how you trim it. The same thing with the rear claws. Just a slight pressure. You can see how the toe is curved. The, the claw is curved down. You just peel the hair back. Light pressure. Here comes the claws right up there. You can see it. Just barely stick the tip of it through and cut it off. That's all you have to do. You don't have to take a lot. You just want to get the sharp, the sharp part of the claw off. So he's not getting hung up on everything. And it keeps their toes from getting deformed, their, their feet from getting deformed. So it's just, that's just one other maintenance. That's just one more maintenance thing you can do to care for your Westie. Another item that you can put on your list to care for your Westie is to trim their backsides. You want to trim their, the hair around the anus. And this keeps them clean. Right now, we're fortunate, mom keeps up on it. But when you have to do it, it's really simple. What we recommend is to have a battery operated trimmer. Now this is a, a wall. There's Oster, there's other brands out there. This is one we particularly use and it works really well to trim the hair around the anus. Let me adjust the camera down here a little bit. And Westies are known for pulling on their tails. You can pull on their tails, this doesn't bother them. And you start at the base of the tail and just work your way. Never had this done before. The base of the tail. And trim around, be careful, because it's a very sensitive area. Usually about the width of your clipper. You can go down. And trim. Yep. Again, you want to be careful. They're going to squirm the first few times they do it. They're not used to the razor. But just trim the hair back so that the, the feces doesn't get hung up in the hair. Okay, nice and... And they don't mind it. Once they're used to it, now she's used to the clipper. It's easier, easier to do. And that's it. Very easy to do. Another maintenance item. This needs to be done every couple of weeks. And it keeps them fresh and clean and keeps them happy. And those are just some few, four maintenance things. Keeping their eyes clean. They have a, a tear stain remover. Keeping their paws clipped. Keeping them brushed so they're used to having a brush go through their hair, handle them like a groomer would. Trimming their toes and shaving their backside. Just some simple maintenance tips to keep you and your Westie happy. 
We want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and we'll answer them at a later date. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to subscribe. Hit that notifications bell to keep up with all that's going around here on My West East TV. Again, thank you so much for watching and take care. Whether you've had one Westie or you've had 10 Westies, I highly recommend this book to educate you on the West 